120s on the mat here. Here we go. We're going two piece. Look at Bird going two piece. That maniac. Okay, and as I found out earlier, his shoe is only $185. So uh, good for that guy. Look at shot. Let's get a close up on those. But in other news, his teammate. That's a pair of, what'd you pay for those rulons? 300. 300, you must have bumped your head, my friend. That is insane. That is insane. But I'll tell you what, tell your parents if they want to adopt a 39-year-old dude and they want to spend a bunch of money on, I'm their guy. They can have uh, grandkids, because I got two kids, all right? Let them know. So we're looking at Lucas Bird, who's going to be taking on Bo Bayless, Bo Bayless of Reynolds, Pennsylvania. Matches here in the finals of the Grizzly Invitational GIT. Brought to you by Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend What You've Built. And always pumped up to get going here. Your championship final, Lucas Bird. We're up with the Iron Man in a crazy final, a good final. Bird rocking the two pieces of red. And LaSalle is your defending state champion, knocked off Dylan Schauber in the Division I state final last year in Ohio. And he's got a front headlock right now on Reynolds PA Bo's Bo Bayless. Once again, shout out to Guy Seiko and Defense of Soap, Defend which is built. They are bringing these final states tonight. You can check them all out later. Wrestling or archive in these finals, we got a stalemate. And it looks like we got some blood. We're gonna get him cleaned up. some dead time here. We've got Lucas Bird heading to Maryland. He's a terrapin. He does not look like a turtle, but apparently he's gonna, gonna go wrestle for him in the Big Ten. The Big Kumi. This match is brought to you by Guy Sikwin. Defense soap, defense soap, defend what you built. And they're making it happen tonight. Maybe they'll buy me a, a $300 pair of shoes by the end of this. I don't know. Okay? You paid $300 for those shoes. Yeah. One more time. $300 for those. Yeah. Wait, you paid for that or your parents paid? I paid for it. Okay. I'll believe it. I'll believe it when I when I see the receipt. Okay? I'm just telling you. Sweeter, just so you know. Yours will last for 30 years, though. They will. They will last. They, I'm gonna be honest. I've had them since freshman year. They made them. They made too good of a shoe, and then when they made the version two, they just took Rulon's name off yeah. and called it Wrestler, yeah. right? Yeah. They were like, "Oh, we made too good of a shoe here. Yeah. Our bad." So, hopefully, we're gonna get back to action here. I'm kind of waiting for it. All that blood wiped up. It's a brave man who does not care about bloodborne pathogens out there. So right now we've got a scoreless foul between Lucas Bird, defending Division One state champion in Ohio, Cincinnati LaSalle. Who's the leader? Taking on Bo Bayless of Reynolds, PA. When I say Cincinnati, maybe that gives it away that it's Ohio. I don't know. And Bird, double underhooks, jacking it up. He's just getting, now he's going pancake, trying to throw him through. And now just 
just heavy and they're assaulting the head of Bayless right now with the front headlock garage. Head in the hole, far hip. Looking for that score. Nothing yet for Bird. Bayless battling here. 25 seconds left in the first. Grizzly Invitational Final. Bird throw by, looking to go behind. He's been hustling for this takedown. And Bayless is not interested in conceding it. Wow. Color me impressed with the defense of Bayless as I say that. Bird looks like he's going to go behind. And not quite. And they do give it to him. Great hustle by Lucas Bird. Man, he chased that thing down for a minute at least. That was tough. So Bird, 2-0 lead, finally gets that front headlock. Goes behind. We got more blood on the mat. We're gonna get this figured out. So, as we're waiting here, Bayless Bird, 2 0 lead Bird. He was in on, he had a uh, Bayless pulled under for a front headlock for about seven minutes in the first period, it seemed like, even though there's only two minutes in the first period. I know my math's fuzzy. You know, $300 for shoes, it's kind of got it all thrown off. It's wild. So, right now, Bayless on top, Bird underneath to start the second two lead. Bird. Bird up to his feet, he's up and out, 3-0 lead. Lucas Bird, Cincinnati LaSalle here in the second period of the GIT, Grizzly Invitational Tournament. Toughest one-day tournament in the state of Ohio. One-day tournament, 16 teams. Color me impressed. Bird waded in hard with that right underhook. And Bayless kind of giving a lot of ground now. I wouldn't want to be underneath the front headlock of Bird, and there it is. As I say, he's giving ground. He gets dinged for stalling. Bird back in that front headlock. Heavy on his head, working hard here. So we're off the mat. We're going to get a restart here. One time remains second period. 120 pound final GIT Grizzly Invitational Tournament here at Wadsworth, Ohio. And Bird, four point right now. He is the nucleus of the LaSalle team. They're only going to do as good as Lucas Bird does, in my opinion. But here's your defending Division I state champion in Ohio. Defeating Dylan Schauber Valeria in the finals. Close final. Bird, world team member in Greco before, I believe. So he's got some overseas experience. 25 seconds remains your second period. Shot counter shot, and then trying that little dump, little barrel roll dump there is Bayless. And spin go behind for Bird, he runs the score to 5-0. So, Lucas Bird dominating here. Five seconds remains second period on Reynolds PA's Bo Bayless here. Championship final of the Grizzly Invitational Tournament here. Wadsworth, Ohio. I haven't been to the school in a couple years. I rolled up and I there was a hospital bill here. Or so I thought. It was the new school. Pretty impressive facility here in Wadsworth. They were your 2009 state champs? No, 11. 11, I'm wrong. So right now, Bird on top of 5 over your third period. Bayless chose underneath to start the third. He is going to be up and out pretty quick here, so it seems. And I don't know, now he's not really interested in conceding the escape. Bird doesn't give it up. And Hey, everybody should be over on my live feed, not yours. Let's go. Get with it. My wife can't get to work. 
Is that Periscope? It's 30 Periscope. Oh, Facebook Live? Okay. She got tried. It won't stream where she's at. Oh, well. She's probably not on mine. That's, that's <laughs> the problem here, okay? So right now, Bird, 5 lead driver secure, 125 remains third period. Grizzly Invitational Tournament final here at Wadsworth. I'm going to check out all these archived finals tonight. Slow wrestling and up and out just like that. It's Bayless 5-1. So Bayless is going to be going to take down and some near falls here. Multiple takedowns, whatever he's going to have to do. He's going to have to get on his bike and ride. 103 remains third period here. Bird's not the type of guy who gives up four points in a period. I'm just saying. He's stingy. He's digging double underhooks. There's some of that Greco pedigree I was talking about. Bayless obviously wants nothing to do with it. I don't want anything to do with it sitting over here watching it. As I say that, Bayless tries to step in with an inside trip. Another stall on Bayless. It's going to be a point this time. Oh, he goes step around. That was nasty. He's going to need some of that defense soap to go wash off. because That was dirty. Job. Good wow. work. I owe the Sal some silver. So Bird, 6 1 lead. Bayless needs a big throw here or something. And inside trip attempt. Tries to rip a headlock. And a little barrel roll there for Cincinnati Sal Sr. Lucas Bird. Runs his lead to 8 to 1, 5 seconds remain. Lucas Bird going to be your champ here. Two in a row for LaSalle. <laughs> he only brought seven guys. He got two champs already. So uh, they're good. Look out, Division 1, Ohio. The state tournament's going to be bananas. Third finalist in a row for him coming up. 